Uh, I've been working with homeless youth for three years now. I've worked at youth care for four years. Thirteen and a half years. I've worked with young people for over 30 years. I've worked with thousands of at-risk youth. I've worked with Jenny and Jordan. I've worked with Draco. I've worked with Simone. Billy and Titi and Samia. I get to know these young adults personally. I know these young people. They want a job, they want school, they want to celebrate their birthday. They're all incredibly different and have different stories, but they're all in the exact same place. They need someone to trust. They want what any young person wants. They want an opportunity. On any given night in Seattle, as many as a thousand kids are out there on the streets with no safe place to sleep. There's a lot of dangers on the streets, but sometimes those dangers seem less threatening than the ones that they're seeing every day at their house. I've heard some of the most horrific and heartbreaking stories. Some of them are incredible stories of resilience. I've never met a kid that ever wanted to be on the street. Most of them are running. Running from sexual abuse, running from physical abuse, some have been kicked out. Some for being mentally ill, and some for revealing the truth about their sexual identity. Families come undone. A parent has a medical crisis, loses a job, a home. More and more what I'm hearing from these young people. My parents can't support me. Their parents can't afford them anymore. My parents can't afford to keep me. At Youth Care, we start with the obvious. We feed them, we clothe them, we begin to win their trust. We know what works. We wrap these young people in what they need to restore their self-worth and give them the opportunities they need to move forward. Four or five days and nights a week, the outreach team is out on the streets. What you see is young people who've been pushed to places that no one should be pushed, hardened. Who were just grateful for a pair of socks, for a cup of noodles just grateful to be seen by somebody. Each year, thousands of kids come to the Orion Center to get a hot meal, to do their laundry. And sometimes just to be safe. If there's room, we give them a bed for the night. You try to build a relationship that could be something as small as playing cards, playing a game. What do you need? What, what has brought you here to the Orion Center? And how can we address some of that stuff? And slowly we begin to earn their trust. You can see there's a change in their eyes. You can see there's a shift that goes, oh, I can change this. At our ISIS program, we see young people who may have had a life that's all going great for them until one day they come out of the closet to their parents and all of a sudden everything changes and they find themselves on the street. The number of homeless kids who identify as being gay is staggering. Some estimates have it as high as 40%. This year, there's about 500 kids in the Seattle, King County area being sexually exploited and prostituted. The youth that I work with are usually between the ages of 14 to 17, sometimes younger. The Bridge Program gives children who have been sexually exploited a safe place to heal. It's just wonderful to watch them grow and believe in themselves again. So many homeless youth are struggling with addiction, suffering from mental instability, and have been scarred so deeply from years of living on the streets. When virtually everyone else has given up on these young people, our Catalyst Program has taken them in embraced them, and pointed them forward. A bed and some sense of normalcy is still not enough. If we want to get these young people off the streets, and off the streets for good, we have to help them find their confidence. We have to educate them. We have to give them job skills. We need to give them a sense that their future can begin today. When you work with a young person who hasn't seen the inside of a classroom for years, you have to work hard to create an environment where a student feels supported and safe. Earning a GED or a high school diploma is really only a stepping stone. Youth Tech is a job training program that gives youth IT skills to start a career. 
12 weeks later, you see a student who is very confident. They have changed 180 degrees. What I think makes our Barista Training and Education program so successful is that young people are learning teamwork and skills associated with a new craft. Oftentimes our youth are used to feeling invisible and disengaged and what we're asking them to do is engage with the community and to take those skills and use them out in everyday life. Youth Build is a leadership training program. These are homeless young adults learning construction skills on the job site, building their own lives, and at the same time, building homes for Habitat for Humanity. To see a young person receive their GED or their high school diploma, to receive a certificate where they've completed their training is a moment of awe. It might be the first thing they've ever finished, the first time that a group of adults has ever cheered for them. The look on their face is full of promise. It's a look of confidence and a look of hope that they're gonna be successful in controlling the direction of their own life. Resume assistance. Interview training. Job placement. Counseling. Someone to talk to. Someone to call when you've gotten your first job. We know what it takes to turn that young person in a doorway. Into a young person in school. Into an adult on the job. Into a strong, healthy, independent citizen. This is our community. And these are our children. We know what we have to do. The question is, are we willing?